It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> I feel like Mr. Rogers wears my slippers and my sweater. <laughs> and I'm not going to burst out into song. You can be assured of that right now. Hey, good morning. It is the Morning Mindset edition of the Live, Build, Change podcast. I want to encourage you not to skip these Morning Mindsets. I know that you've got all kinds of obligations that are put on you from work, from home, from people in your life that expect things of you. And I don't mean it in that way. I mean it like a well-meaning mother who is encouraging you to eat your vegetables. You know, this is good for you. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I am producing these morning mindsets or that I'm the one talking about scripture. It has everything to do with the fact that we're looking at scripture. We are attuning our ear and our heart toward God's word to hear what he has to say for us for this five minutes every morning. And I think five minutes is the least we can do every morning. So I'd encourage you to make this a part of your routine. Make it one of those rituals that you do every morning to get in a quiet place and click on the morning mindset and listen to what God's word is saying to you for this day. We're looking at Psalm chapter 63 and yesterday I mentioned how powerful it is to make affirmations to ourself that God is our God and to make commitments to ourselves that we will earnestly seek him. And I didn't get to say much about it yesterday, but the second line of Psalm 63 verse 1 says, My soul thirsts for you and my flesh faints for you as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. Do you see the imagery that David is using there? David's a poet, so he's creating this image for us to help us understand the hunger that he feels for God. And he's painting a picture of being in a land where there's been a famine, where there's been no rain. The the lakes and ponds and creeks are all dried up. And he describes it as a dry and weary land. Have you ever been in that place? Not just geographically. But if you have been in it geographically, it'll help you to think of it in terms of a spiritual dryness. Have you been in that place where everything's discouraging, everything's kind of low, everything's at a, at a low ebb, and it, you find it hard to be encouraged? And David is saying in those moments, we need to stir up in ourselves a hunger for God, a thirst for God. Because it's in those times of discouragement that doubt tends to come. It's in those times that our mindset goes south. And we start to get pessimistic. We start to question whether God is truly good. We start to question whether he really loves us. We begin to question if we are truly worthwhile. And the scriptures are here telling us in those moments when everything is dry, everything is weary, We have a responsibility to intentionally direct our hearts and our eyes toward God, to earnestly seek Him. And so I want to ask you right now, are you going to choose, not based on how you feel or on what's going on in your circumstances, but according to your will, your will, are you choosing to direct yourself to seek God in your weariness and in your dryness? Are you choosing to seek him, to yearn for him, to thirst for him, to hunger for him with an attitude of dependence and desperation that God, if I don't have you, I am going to faint without you. God, help me and cry out to him. And the scripture says, if you seek him, you will find him. If you seek him with all your heart. And I hear David seeking the Lord with all of his heart. He's earnestly after him. And I mentioned yesterday, if you're in a place where you don't feel you can earnestly seek him of your own accord, ask him to help you. Say, God, help me to hunger for you. Help me to thirst for you. And God will give himself in answer to the one who calls out for him. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. So I'm praying for you that this day you can direct your mindset to seek the God of gods, the King of kings, who is available to you if you cry out to him. Join me tomorrow on the Morning Mindset edition of Live, Build, Change.